everybody I'm back with a very quick process video this is actually a um, a layout that I'm doing for the Victoria Marie Facebook page we are doing a sketch this week for our Wednesday hump day challenge and I got this sketch for, off of Pinterest and it's actually from scrapbook circle it was a scrapbooking club that I used to belong to as one of the very first ones and this sketch was created by one of their designers and I'll um, post the link to the sketch in the description below and so for this sketch, what it calls for is sort of the photo and some embellishments that are somewhat in the center or kind of offset on the page with a little bit of an embellishment at the top right. I love using sketches, love, love, love them. And tonight was perfect because I wasn't feeling all that creative. I had just finished fussing with getting my scrapbooking for mortals tutorial up because I've had such a hard time getting that uploaded and so I'm kind of behind on my crafty schedule. And so um, I thought it would be fun to do a, um, a sketch challenge because those are very, very popular on my Facebook page and we haven't done one in a while. So what I'm using is um, the background papers from Amy Tan and that striped blue papers from Amy Tan as well from her Rise and Shine collection. I believe the um, wood grain paper is called Chloe and that striped paper is called Lucy. Then I take some marketing um, strips from those papers and um, I add those to the left side just to provide a bit of interest in some color. I'm taking some die cuts from L Studio, the Sienna collection, as well as Pink Fresh Studio called Up in the Clouds. This is a Scraptastic kit from May and I think it's called, I think it's called Jinglin, but I can't remember. <laughs> So I'm going to do a little bit of clustering and in the sketch there's a little circle cluster there to the left and I'm kind of embellishing it a little bit more than what it actually shows on the sketch. And then I take some labels again from those die cut sets, one from L Studio, one from Pink Fresh. The font is from Thickers and it's an Amy Tan font and it's called Alex. And then the tiny little font that I'm going to put at the bottom is from Jelly Bean Soup and those are called Mini Alphas and it says Summer Red but it's blue so hmm, who knows. <laughs> So the title of this layout is called Hashtag Bestie. Now, I don't tweet at all, but that hashtag seems to be very popular. Um, I know it as the pound sign. You guys remember that? I'm kind of dating myself. Anyway, so Hashtag Besties, and that's me and my little girl. And on that day, we were headed to the mall. And um, she wanted to look like mommy that day. And, and so she wanted her hair done like me and wanted to wear earrings like me. And it's not too hard for her to look like me because she really does. We're, we, I mean, the resemblance is just uncanny, <laughs> completely uncanny. So, um, my spouse took the picture and, um, I was just looking on it, looking at it today. And I thought, you know what? I haven't scrapbooked that yet. So I want to just kind of tell that story about how, um, she always says that we are best friends mom and we are fashion girls and <laughs> we just have so much fun together. So to that I just added, um, I finished adding the title and then that pink bow is exclusive to the Scraptastic kit. I'm also adding those drop stickers. Those are from Pink Fresh Studio and it also came with a wood frame so that was pretty cool. I didn't use that on this layout but maybe I'll use it on another one. At the top, I clustered some embellishments as well using that drop sticker and a couple of the die cuts. I'm adding some journaling lines to this. And in the journaling, I'm going to say I always wanted a little girl who looked just like me. Well, I totally got what I asked for. It is uncanny how similar we look. On this day, you wanted your hair styled just like mommy, and you had to wear your had to wear earrings just like mommy. I love these moments. Now, her ears are not pierced. She was wearing clip-on earrings, but you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> So the sketch calls for some sprinkling, it looks like. So I'm going to sprinkle a bit of the Heidi Swap Butter, which is my favorite color right now, and it doesn't really come up all that well. So I'm going to grab the Tinsel Mist, and I'm going to sprinkle that here in a second. And let's see. Oh, I'm going to add the date using some Tim Holtz Pumice Stone Distress Ink. One of my favorite colors. I'm using a Heidi Swap roll date stamp. So now I'm going to grab my phone, and sorry, the color's going to change since I have my phone next to my iPad. And I love this layout. It's so great, and it was quick. And I love using sketches for that reason. I don't have to think about it. I just grab what I need and go. And plus, that's just a sweet little memory to, to capture. All right, guys, some pictures are coming up, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.